If you guys are looking for the cheapest coins on the internet right now, make sure to check out my brand new sponsor, MMO EXP. They have the cheapest coins that you can find anywhere in the internet. Use code Poodle at checkout for 5% off your order. What's going on everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video guide. And today, we got the brand new and what I believe should be the last golden tickets, which it does mean, guys, I think you can go ahead now, starting tomorrow, and get your free golden ticket. I did open up franchise here. Sorry for that. Anyways. Starting tomorrow, you can get your free golden ticket, which is the 29th. So make sure that you guys get your solos done tomorrow. Get your solos done you haven't gotten done yet. And then go on ahead and get and get go get your golden ticket tomorrow. Now, guys, as far as today goes, we got three golden tickets. Now, these are the dev golden tickets or the develop the developer golden tickets, which are the guys who developed Madden. They get to pick some of their own hand-picked and created golden tickets, of course. Now let's go to the auction block, check them all out. But where do you see if there's any packs on the store for some last-minute golden ticket type pulls? They are small pro packs. I will open up two of these to see if I can pull something. I've been trying fan appreciation packs, couldn't get it done. I just want to pull one. Today would be perfect. I really want that Brian Dawkins. Gold, team of the week, legend, legend, gold. Why do I even bother? Guys, if you know how much coins I spent on packs at the end of this Madden, so I could have multiple golden tickets at this point. I really would like to pull them. Guys, before we get into today's video, make sure you're down below. Hit that subscribe button. Turn that on, bell, boys. Come join the family. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up, as always. And if you haven't already, comment down below what you guys think of these new golden tickets. And let me know if you even pulled one. Although, do I really want to know? Not entirely sure. Okay, we're never going to pull one. I think, I think I've done my part. I've opened up enough packs for you guys to where you guys probably even think I should have pulled one at this point. But who knows? It is what it is. It's EA. It's Madden. I, I guess I can't decide anything here. But let's go over to 98.99. EA hasn't said anything formally about this, but we do believe that Journey and Gauntlet potentially or any of those will be coming out probably tomorrow or at least soon. As you guys can see here, so someone on Twitter did send this over to Zerk and he just informed me. So David Johnson, if you go to the end of his power up, does have a 98 overall Journey Master option. Now, could this be the new Journey Master or the Journey Completion Master? We do not know. But you can see here, David Johnson has pretty nice stats. You can't get him all the way up, especially if you just power up past him. Now, this card specifically... It's pretty good, and we just don't we don't know entirely how you get them, obviously. But to be quite honest with you guys, this card looks pretty good. It looks good, and I'm assuming that journey would probably come out more than not tomorrow, if anything. Those are the th that's what I suspect at least. It's a Friday. They're gonna probably drop it. They haven't announced anything though. Maybe they'll just like drop it with all the solos tomorrow. We don't know. But if you, if this is a new journey, you will be getting a new journey master and then a journey completion master. That should be up to two cards that are gonna be pretty good for you. Guys, it's about it. Just want to throw that in there real quick. Now, guys, the market is going to crash pretty heavily tomorrow. People are going to be getting a ton of free golden tickets, and at least the golden ticket market will crash. Not entirely sure about the whole market, but the golden ticket market will crash. People is below 200k. That is absolutely absurd. Let's go to new. Let's filter by newest and see if we can find the new one. So, we got Quincy, a new one. What are the newest developer GTs? 99 over a wide receiver for the New York Jets. Now, 6 foot 2, get slot times 2 and deep throw times 2. Those are awesome. 95 speed. 95 jumping, 96 catching, 97 catching traffic, 97 spec catch, 98 short out running, 97 medium out running, and 96 deep out running. Now, what I don't like is why does he not have a single 99? That doesn't make a lot of sense to me. And he doesn't get, he literally doesn't have 199. Like, this card looks pretty good well rounded, but not 199. Tory Holt competes with him to an extent. Well, I know, for, I know sure as hell that. Julio Jones is better because Julio Jones has almost everything at 99. How can you make two golden ticket wide receivers, both 99, and both of them out of 99 stats? Julio Jones is a better route runner, a better catcher, and I think he's faster. Okay, not a fan of the first one, <clears throat> in my opinion. I'd much rather get Julio, although we know this one will probably be cheaper. Anthony Barr, now guys, this could be very exciting. Anthony Barr, left us at linebacker, been waiting for a zone one all year. Are we, it'd be sad, right? <clears throat> I've been waiting since August or July, I should say, for a left us linebacker with zone <clears throat> like Anthony Barr. If his zone is good, guys, we would have gotten it right before June, which would be really sad. So six foot five, <clears throat> excuse me, 93 speed, 94 excel, 82 strength, 99 tackle, 99 play rec, 99 block shot, 69 power move, and 62 finesse move. Guys, this is kind of exactly what I've been looking for. He can stop the run. That's the beauty because the zone linebacker, he's going to be, he can stop the run. He can't pass, but that's fine because you can just leave him in the zone. He can tackle. He can play rec. He can get up to like 96 speed, and he's tall as hell. This could be the card, guys. Good strength. Good awareness. Let's see, 90 jumping, that's good. Impact blocking, 95. 99 block shed, which we know already. 99 pursuit, 84 zone. Why would they give him 84 zone? 
they know the threshold is 90 now again i could still use it it's not the end of the world but i'd much prefer he had an 86 zone could have put lockdown and john madden passing or john madden john madden pasty and i would have had it up so again anthony Barr is great not no he's good not great just based off of that now we still do have another card that we can check out but guys personally as of now i think that quincy new one's kind of a bust anthony Barr could be pretty good in my opinion anthony Barr is not exactly bad i there's just there was so much potential you give him an 87 zone he gets to 90 now he's a throw he has zone lockdown like he has his own threshold hit he's gonna be pretty stellar in the zone gonna really shut down parts of his zone he's gonna be tall as hell so people who think oh i, I can throw it over him no he's got a good zone good jumping and good height he could pick that he has pass coverage ability i could have put like zoned out on him or universe coverage whatever he can get guys this card had the potential to be so amazing could have been like a cornerback at six foot five that plays the lower side of the field of p and that's like the side where people are like oh it's a linebacker i could throw over him oh it's a linebacker you know i can make that pass but you can't because of the stats he has would have been great guys but maybe if you could still get zoned out on him i guess at the end of the day it still could be pretty glitchy it really just depends on how you use him and how he plays with this stuff next we have brian dawkins which should be my favorite one 96 speed six feet tall of course he gets run support two and then zone hybrid a uh, zone and hybrid sorry so gonna get like zoned out gonna get enforcer gonna get gonna get a few good things acrobat 94 excel 93 tackle 98 play rec 98 pursuit 91 man 97 zone 99 hit power here's what concerns me guys why does he get no 99 stats really again it's like he gets 99 hit power 99 pursuit damn near 99 speed like a lot of people are getting 99 stats and these these new ones he, he has one and hit power he pretty much had all year anyways Let's compare it to my Sean Taylor though. Compare it to Sean Taylor, he does get the speed. Now Sean Taylor did get up to a 97 speed, but this one will get up to a 99. So Dawkins takes the cake and speed. Excel, they're identical. Tackle, he has the key, takes it there too. Play recognition, we'll get a 99, so that's a big improvement. Pursuit, we'll get a 99, so that's a big improvement. Man coverage, he can now cover like a typical Earl Thomas-esque safety. So that's a huge improvement. Zone does hit 99. Big improvement and 99 power. So this Brian Dawkins is phenomenal. Actually, we'll probably be picking this card up at some point because that's just that's just a great that's a great card overall. Let's see what his block shed is. That's also important. Let's compare it though to Sean Taylor's block shed. See how they both play in the run game, of course. I really do like to start jumping. 93. Okay, so Brian Dawkins is a little chunky on his feet. Spin move, juke move. They're both decent after the catch. Uh pursue. We know that already. Let's see, let's see. Stamina is important too. 99 stamina, so that's good. Hit power 99, we know that. Where is the block shed? Did I, did, I, did I miss that? Let's see. Let's see. Should be over here somewhere, right? Block shedding. 85 block shedding. Okay, that's big. That's actually really big. Honestly, guys, if you put like... You want to be like real, real stupid with him. You could honestly put like John Madden. If you put John Madden pass rush on. And then you add like maybe if possible you put like pass rush abilities on him. Or I mean pass rush cams on him. You can maybe get his blocks close to like a 90. Like run stuff. And then if you could do that, he honestly would be so good in the run game. Like any block on him, he would just shut off of it. Because no, no wide receiver, maybe tight end, or anyone else running back to be able to stop Ryan Dawkins. Or like a rushing when he when he rushes in on like a boat or something. Guys, he could be really, really good. I think this Ryan Dawkins is the best one of the all three of them. Now, to go back to Quentin Nua, I was a little upset the first time I talked about him. So let's go back a little bit. Let's revisit the card for a second. Can we find light in this? If we put Sprinter on him, he only gets 298 speed with Sprinter and John Madden. So he doesn't get 99. That's that's one. That's one strike. If you put go deep on him, he does get spec catch and deep out running 99. But I think I'd rather on a guy like Quincy Newmall probably end up going with West Coast where I get my short running, my medium. With John Madden and everything and deep route running, you could probably get his short up to like a 99. You could probably get a spec to 99. Catch and traffic's like a 98. Deep route running to a 99. And the card's gonna be close to all 99s, but nothing will be 99. Like, it'll be like 90. It'll be like all 98s across the board. With Kems, Julio is like on 100. His card's so high up, he gets like 100 at that point. Like I don't know. Quincy Newell probably gonna end up being the last guy I end up choosing here, in my opinion. So, to do my ratings for the day, coming in in last place is probably gonna have to be Quincy Newell. Now let's update their prices real quick. See if they've changed it all. People are finally differentiating these prices. Let's see. Let's see. Quincy Newell, yeah, he's already dropped a million. Whoa, whoa, Lamar's 1.5 mil. Whoa, hold up, hold up. Lamar. Damn, he's gone. I knew that was a good price. And of course, now I don't have a million coins. That's great. I spent it all in stupid packs. Ah. Uh, all right so back to what i was saying 
Coming in at third for the day is going to be Quincy Nunwa. Coming in at number two for the day is going to be Anthony Barr. Still think he could make anyone's roster in the right scheme or defensive setting. And then coming in at number one is going to be Brian Dawkins. Brian Dawkins is phenomenal. I think this card's super, super great. Now, do I do I think the dev the dev golden tickets were an L or a W? I think they're gonna be an L. Um, the player, just based on players picked, Brian Dawkins was cool, Barr was cool, a new one was not so cool, and their stats just weren't as good as some of the other golden tickets, which is kind of weird in my opinion. Like these quarterbacks just are far and away the best cards that were dropped, and then Bo Jackson, even Taylor Mays, but like these cards did not seem nearly as good. These seem more like ultimate legend cards more than they do a golden ticket card. But guys, better for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you are new to the channel, make sure down below, hit that subscribe button, turn on the new bell, boys. Make sure to join the family. Comment down below if you guys have pulled any golden ticket today. I would love to see if any of you guys pulled any of the new devs. And hopefully we can pull one right here on the final pack. And we do not. That is a shame. Robert Quinn. I'm just I'm just burning coins at this point, guys. But that's about it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys. Should be the only video for today. Not much content right now. Still open for positional heroes pretty soon, but we do not know. But guys, I'm about it. That's about it. I'm out. Peace.